Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Yes, you are, Effingham. I'm not ashamed to say. I hope it always will stay this way. My hat is off. Won't you stand up? And take a bow, bum 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 bum. And if I threw a party and invited everyone I knew, well, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a bestie. Hey guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. All right, so I'm still on the theme song kick. And of course, that is from none other than the Golden Girls, which I feel sometimes like we're the Golden Girls in my kitchen. Don't you guys? I literally do. I was like, which one am I? Do you want to know? <laughs> All right. So the game today is, oh, by the way, if you've never been to this channel, stick around. We have so much fun. Welcome to my kitchen. Help you grab a cup of coffee or whatever else you want to drink. Sit down, chit chat with us. I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. So, but the game, what I want right now is, which golden girl are you and which one do you think I am? Hmm, I know which one I am. <laughs> okay, well, but I don't know which one you see me as. All right, so let's throw that out there. Who's who'd? Let's see, um, I'm gonna just, okay, so Sharon Marcus, I love you to death. Sharon Marcus is, oh my gosh, what are their names? Hold on, we have to play this game right now. I know you guys are screaming at me right now. You're screaming me the names. Hey Siri, what are the names of the Golden Girl characters? Maybe it'll tell me. My iPad's right here. You guys can't see that, but my iPad's right here. Okay, I don't know. Did it say? No, it didn't. Hey, Google, what are the names of the Golden Girls? We're gonna try this though. Blanche, so that we didn't give me all four Golden Girls names. Okay, hold on, we got this. It's Blanche Sophia, who's the mother. Blanche was Betty White, right? Um, uh, aha, shoot. I know you guys are literally screaming them. Could you scream louder? I can't hear you, okay? Golden Girls. Ah, uh, no, no, and I mean, I know who the stars were. Okay, so let's look, go this way. I got it. I think I got it now. Rose was Betty White. What am I saying? And Dorothy was B. Arthur. Sophia was Estelle Getty, the mom. And Blanche was Rue McClanahan. Okay, so which one are you and which one am I? So Sharon Marcus, I love you, Jess. Sharon Marcus is most definitely Dorothy. She's super smart. She's always very level-headed. <laughs> I love, I love you, Sharon. Let's see, who else would I throw out there? Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have any Betty Whites out there? Oh my gosh, Rose, which would be Rose. Um, anyway, okay, I'm just gonna shout out Sharon this morning. So there's that. Okay, but so much fun. Who are you and who I am? Let's get started, you guys. You know what? I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you. Oh, by the way, I am singing um, TV theme songs right now. So um, you're welcome to send in requests. I, I am writing them down. I'm hoping to get to all of them. And um, there, there you have it. So I was supposed to do one last weekend as a duet with Marcus, but he was sick. So keep your fingers crossed. What was this? This was hashtag one, two, five. 
Um, keep your fingers crossed that we're going to be able to get it done tomorrow. We do have a birthday party here tomorrow for my eight-year-old twin. <laughs> we're 50 years apart. So we do a birthday party here every way. Anyway, okay. And it's a ballerina theme. But we're going to, we're hoping to get it. I think we're going to try and film it this afternoon. And it's not going to be beanies and robes because it's like 110 here today. So it's bikinis and flip-flops. It's going to be the new show through the summer, bikinis and flip-flops. So there you go. Okay. I got it. Wait, it's beanies and robes. If I could just be the B&R, the B&R show. Mm, I'm getting somewhere. Beanies and robes, bikinis and, bikinis and what? Rum? Bikinis. <laughs> bikinis and rays. I don't know. Okay, whatever you guys. Let's get started because I literally have a very large Dollar Tree haul for you. It's more than one store. Holla for your dollar haul. Holla. Oh, and announcing winners at the end of this um, haul. So, funny thing. I did something different last week when I did my haul. I literally, in the middle of the haul, said, if you're still watching right now, type the word enter and you are entered into the drawing to win the three beach. I'll get them. Don't go anywhere. I got them right here. Travels down the road and back again. Maybe I don't have them here. They're tangled up. Actually, the ones I'm giving away are packaged. These are tangled up, but you're getting three of these. Look at this side, they're so tangled. It's because the hooks on this one. So there's three um, strands. One has anchors, one has boats, and one has starfish. So three of these that I'm giving away at the end of this video. I'll separate them so I can show you at the end of the video when I actually give them away. How about that? There we go, I just did it. So these three strands of coveted short living decor pieces, which are the beads. So last week, what I did was I was going around, I was, <laughs> I can take this off. Huh? I was doing my haul in the middle of my haul. I said, all right, right now I'm gonna do a giveaway. So if you're still watching, just write the word enter. Well, I might do that again today. What do you guys know? Hmm? Who knows? All right, so at the end of this video, I will announce the winner for those three. But before I do that, Sharon Marcus, oh, it was perfect I called you out, Sharon, because you won last week. So last week, also in the middle of my video, I started singing, because um, I was hauling the, the, the nautical stuff, I think, right? And so I was singing, open the door and seize the day. Open the gates. Open the gates and seize the day. Because it says seize, S-E-A-S, -E on the sign, seize the day. I started singing that song, and I said, for the very first person that puts in the comments what movie that's from wins a single strand of beads, and so that was Sharon Marcus, because, of course, that song, open the gates and seize the day, don't be afraid and don't delay. Newsies, Disney, Newsies. Christian, what's his last name, Slater, who played Batman later on in the movies? Why do I know this? We're not sure. All right, let's start the haul. I'm going to start with this hat now. I know everybody's hauling these hats and everybody does crafts with them, which is really cool and I want to too. I showed you guys, I think last week actually, or the week before that, where I made um, a vase out of one of the hats, but I picked this one up because it's the black and I decided that I'm gonna de de dissect it. I'm gonna take it all apart so I get the spool of the black stuff because I just feel like this is gonna be super cool and some boho stuff, which I, ha I hope to get back to at some point in this this year i mean it's like because there's like yeah no nope, evingham i'm sorry i did not buy this hat for you although although it would look super adorable on you it's time for a change huh i was thinking about putting some swimming goggles on you evingham because it is that time of the year right anyway um what should i put on effingham you guys tell me what to put on him anyway it, yes the hat would look adorable on you i know you're still questioning who you are and what you are but let's not go there. Okay. Um, I literally have, like I've shown you guys before, I have my box down here, my tub full of stuff. A lot of it is a multiple. Um, I, I mean, I bought multiples of one item. So I found this. And it was a sign I hadn't found before. And I absolutely love it. Keep calm and stay anchored. So this has so many possibilities. And I love taking their signs and just upscaling them slightly. I mean, even like... Oh, it would be so cute to use this as the, to put this on there somehow. I'm not sure how, but look at that. Like just that right there. So cute. Keep calm and stay anchored. So they have their tchotchke. Hate those sparkly stickers. Anybody else out there with me? I just can't stand them. I can't stand them. 
Um, what's that from? I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. I don't even remember. Somebody tell me. I suppose I could take this though and like paint it and get rid of the sparkly and make it look more like an anchor, which is a possibility what I will do. But what I would really like to say is I love how they age this. They're watching the videos, you guys. They're watching the crafters because they have really started to meld into what we do with their sign. Everybody takes the antique waxing and ages their signs. They do, they all do it. So it's done for us now. I love this. Um, so I'm super in love with this sign. I will upscale it somehow, not exactly sure. But when I do, you'll see it, right? Um, I should probably do it at the end of the video. I don't know, I'm trying, the other thing I wanna do is just do a small craft at the end of all my videos for you guys. Just to show you crafting with something that I, I just hauled so that you, you know. Okay, stop talking, Amy. Okay, um, these are brand new. Oh, Evingham, you're gonna love something I found. You're so gonna love it. So these are these little um, galvanized uh, wreaths. There was another one that said welcome. I didn't get it. I got gratitude and I got home. I probably should have gotten the welcome too. Anyway, I think maybe in the center of a wreath, maybe on a sign, there, you know, there's all kinds of possibilities. They're brand new. So I did just pick up the two. Part of the reason I didn't get the welcome is because it was stashed way in the back on one hanger. And then you had to pull everything off to get to it. And I was like, I was in a hurry. Marcus was sitting in the car. So I'm like, yeah, I'm passing that one up right now. But there is a third one. So I don't know what the pattern is on that wreath because you can see the patterns are different. So I like these. I think they're really pretty. And again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them because I never am. I just buy the stuff and then I figure it out later. <laughs> should do something with that later today. Okay, then ah, I found these. Oh, Ebbingham, you're going to be so excited. First of all, there was a galvanized chicken and, and galvanized pig. Wait, what? And guess what the third one is? Can you guess? Can you guess? You got it. It's a cow. But, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now you see. Okay, you're right, kind of. Kind of looks like a dog. Watch. Take the others off. No. The face, they didn't do that right, but that's okay. Um, it's a cow. I'm like, I know. I was so excited because I'm thinking like Effingham. I'm gonna, well, actually that's a very good idea. I should do a cow, yes, I should do a cow craft day and do cow things. I might just do that for you, Effingham, or at least barn animals, right? So these are so cool. I'm really liking these. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. As always, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do them. I'm going to put them in my galvanized stash and then go from there. Then uh, this, gosh, I'm whipping out some good stuff right in the beginning. That's what she said. So this is, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I'm so in love with this piece. Now, I am going to, I'm going to open this, even though I kind of want to give it as a gift. Or I might actually put it on my wall because I really like it. So there's a few things about this. Number one, can you see how thick that is? Do you know when I put words together because I want that double thickness? This is that double thickness. This is way thicker than, wait, is it thicker? This is, okay, I have this sitting on my counter and this is a um, one of their mason jars. Okay, look, look at how much, can you guys see how much thicker that is? I'm not doing this well, am I? How about if I do it like this? Now see how much thicker it is? By the way, this is one of those Love begins with you, and then I made it two-sided, and it said lemonade. Yeah, okay. So, um, but it's so thick, so I'm so excited. I was like, wow, that's a substantial piece. They used real burlap, not printed burlap. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. And then, they these I thought were real, they're not. But it would be so easy to take tacks and pop them in there. Maybe this will be the craft I do at the end. So I would just put real tacks in there I would color the sides of this there because it's like it's press board it looks awful I would probably do something around this like maybe a pretty um I would furniture mark it and maybe put a lace um bow around it or some florals I don't know but it is so pretty I think this is a really good piece they did excellent on that did you hear that clunk when it went down listen it's a heavy piece I know yes it is I know I'm not, yeah, no, you would go clunk like that, I'm sure, if we put you down too, yes. 
You are correct. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I found so many cool things. So I did, I had said to you guys when I was, um, when I was doing my nautical haul that I was mad that I hadn't picked up a second of the anchors in the same color so that I could do a garland. Well, I found red was all I found. So I picked up a second one. I'm checking out and I said, ring me up for another one because I want two because I can't remember which channel. I wish I could remember because I would totally give them props. Somebody said, be super cool to make a sign because these came in red, white, and blue and do red, white, and blue anchors on a sign. So I bought the one because I was going to take my red one that I already have and put them together to do a garland, right? So three-dimensionalize my anchor, which I will do. But then I was like, oh, I kind of want to do that red, white, blue idea. So somebody said it. I wish I could give them credit. You know, the problem is I'm watching and listening and, and everything, and I'm just like, when I have a moment, right? Might be on the toilet. I don't know. <laughs> and then I'll hear an idea, but they're like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. It's not very often that they really stick. That one did. And so I was like, okay, but I can't give the person credit because I don't know who it was. Anyway, so I bought two so that I can do two back to back to give me a full three dimensional anchor that I'm going to do a garland on and the other one to use for the other two that I have for a red, white, and blue anchor sign. I should do an anchor day. Maybe. I have a mermaid day coming up this week. Um, I had not. For some reason, I hadn't bought sand dollars. I thought I had. I went through the stash, couldn't find them. So I grabbed some sand dollars. Not that I'm really big on these. I actually think they're kind of ugly. They look kind of like an alien to me. I know. Why do I see these things? I'm not sure. Um, so, but I did grab them because I, I'm going to want a sand dollar in something. In some of these things, like the home sign where it's a, the, the O is a sand dollar. I'm going to want to put a sand dollar on that. So I only grabbed one package, I think just so I had them in my stash. And then these are brand, brand spanking new. I'm like, yes. <gasps> you guys, check these out. They're wood roses. Now I'm dying. They're not calling, they're wood curl roses. I'm dying because I want to hold one. I just want to hold, oh, oh, oh. These are so cool. I'm wondering if, I'll bet I could, oh. That's gonna be my craft. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. See, I'm not gonna be able to decide when I do a craft. But I feel like I could take some um, temp, not the not the acrylic paint, the tempura, right? Which is a little waterier, waterier, and just dunk this in and really top it with a color. I think that would work. I did see these at multiple stores, so they are out, and they're so incredibly cool, right? Yes. I was just like, sometimes they bring these craft items out and you're like, oh, no way. It would cost me so much to buy at another store. It would be insane. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I just said, this is so random, you guys, what I have in here, just so you know. Um, these were ones that I found and I hadn't seen these before, but now I've seen a couple people craft with them and they're, the, they're just more shoreline, um, the shore living. And this shoreline is also very cute, isn't it? The shoreline line okay anyway so you and you me and the sea and then this one is happiness is is is, is easy at the beach all right so they're cute um i kind of like the the verb the font of sea and beach i think are really good so the question is will i keep them on there or will i take them apart and use them something else be super easy to enhance one of these might be the craft i do at the end i just don't know at this point there you go. Um, okay. And then what else is in here? Oh my gosh. I found some cool. Oh, I did get the other one. Sorry. These. Life is better at the lake. This one is probably one I wouldn't keep the what it says inside and I would redo it. But these are really good frames. Can you see that? They're whitewashed beachy frames. So this would be a super easy one to redo and put something else inside of it. And... Um, that could be what I do today. I don't know. Then I found the Breathe in this color. So this is this sort of whitewashed gray. It looks unfinished. It so looks unfinished. So um, this is one where I can really see whitewashing just all the way around it, getting some white acrylic and a paintbrush and whitewashing all the way around. And then the Breathe, keeping it the gray, possibly what I will do with it. But it just, it's so unfinished. 
I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Oh, I know what it's from. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's from a very famous musical. It just came to me. If somebody right now can tell me what musical that is from. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And she talks like that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. There's another. Okay. That's all I really need to tell you, right? Well, I could go this. Okay. I'll give you one more clue. And whoever, the first person to put it down below will win. What am I going to give away? I got to give away something. Um, what do I have multiples of? Uh, oh, I could still give away. I'll give away another. I'll give away another uh, string of beads. Okay. So for whoever can tell me. In this musical, one of the characters goes, I can't stand it, I can't stand it, achoo! <laughs> and there might have been a song about dice, luck, be a lady tonight. Okay, there I gave you enough. Um, I bought another set of D's because I did this sign. Oh, it's so cool, I wanna show you guys so bad. I should show you. Um, anyway, I did this sign using these and they were so good. It was, and actually that was an idea I got from Megan at Crafty Quinn. Um, and I did my own twist on it, but I just loved these so much. I was like, I'm going to get another set. Um, my daughter loves mermaids and she has a mermaid bathroom. And I was thinking it might be kind of fun to make a cool mermaid thing for a little bit differently than what I did on the other side. But even watch this, you guys take this and you could put a mermaid tail in there, paint it all up, give it a cool background. These are a good size. Also, I hauled these this canvas, they had some canvases from that are beach themed. They put them by the shoreline stuff and I really loved them. But look, you could paint this mermaid tail, have it coming out of there because that is ocean, right? Okay. Anyway, I love the mermaid tails. And um, so of course I threw another bunch of them in my, in my stash. Then um, I already showed you the one. They had some canvases. They were really cool, like with weed, um, you know, um, sand and the weed grass or whatever it's called. But I loved these two. So those are the only two that I got. I can totally see doing something with this, three-dimensionalizing it, doing a reverse canvas. This one, I just love the way that it is. So I'm probably just gonna leave this one as is. Although I did think about getting, putting it on a larger sign. I don't have a larger sign in front of me right now, right? So framing it with the larger sign. For instance, for instance, like a larger sign, like this one doesn't work, okay. But you kind of get, well, it does, oh, oh. That does kind of work, doesn't it? So if I reverse canvas this, I don't even have to reverse canvas it. But if I take the ugly stickers off it, now it looks like it's hanging on some faux uh, weathered wood. Not bad. Anyway, and this one I just thought was really pretty, and I know I'm going to embellish this one somehow. All right. A few more anchors because I had bought multiples of the wood um, helm. <laughs> Ship's wheel. People were telling me last week what it's called. By the way, I haven't answered comments yet. I'm so sorry. It's been an extremely hectic week. I plan on doing that um, probably tomorrow, maybe late tonight. So um, I just snagged two more. All right. Um, so that I could bulk them up and put them all together and make a solid piece that could lean up against the wall and it's not going to be flimsy. One, it's flimsy. Three or four or five or six, you get a good solid piece that you can work with. Then I found two new signs. There's a lot of nautical right now. It's just at the top of the box. That's all. It's going to go away, I promise. Um, and I was like, yes. What? So who was it who was telling me? Wanda, was it you that said there were these signs or was it Mickey? I don't know. Anyway, one of you told me that there were these signs. And so I walked in and I found them and I love them. I love this one more. I don't like the welcome on it. I think I would take the welcome off, although it's not going to be easy. And is it galvanized? It's galvanized. It's not the sparkly stickers on there. I like relax. Um, I feel like this should have been the other way for some reason. I feel like relax would have been better on the starfish because they just kind of like, uh, hang out. <laughs> um, but I love them. I love the colors, right? So I feel like these need to go on another sign. Like these need to go on. I'm just going to keep grabbing this sign all day long. Like just put them, you know, like enhance the sign by making it a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know, especially, I think especially this one. 
would just be like so cool on. Like if I had two of these to put together, oh, I'm stuck. It'd just be cool. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. It always comes to me in the middle of the night. And I'll be like, oh, that's starfish. I know what I'm doing now. It's literally how it goes, you guys. I'm not kidding you. Okay. It's going to be a long haul. I got to get going. Um, they have new potato chips. So all I'm going to tell you is that these are going into the um, the bikinis and flip-flop haul. One of them. I mean, a bikinis and flip-flop thing. So they're pears. So this is jalapeno poppers. Let me put these in their own pile. This is um, sticky sweet barbecue flavored true cheese curls. Wait, what? <laughs> With stubs, barbecues. I don't, I, these are really good. These are red hot. I'm like so excited about these. We might have to do an extra, um, an extra beanies and robe just to show you, just to try those. Okay, and then. I finally found, did I already tell you guys this? And maybe I did, but I finally found the Evian in the six pack. So I've been buying them like all over. So I bought like, <laughs> I bought like 10 of them the other day. And when I'm checking out, the guy goes, did you buy them all? And I go, no, but aren't they here to buy? I was like, <laughs> like I didn't buy them all. I, they had like an end cap with probably a hundred. No, probably not a hundred, probably 50 six packs. And then a whole stack of cases on the wall. So I was like, no. But this is our favorite one. The raspberry and ginseng is the best one. It goes the best with Captain. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, but we did buy a bunch of them. I'm drinking them in my lunch every day now. They're so cool. So I don't know. They're not going to be there forever. We know that. But, well, that's okay. That is what it is, right? All right. Here's the rest of those potato chips. Here is crispy and tasty. This is going to be like a carb, a carb tasting, taste tester thing. This is sour cream and onion. I mean, there's one, two, three, four. It looks like six different flavors. How about fire roasted sweet corn? Popcorn, fiery hot. I've, I've never heard of hers or hairs. I'm not sure how you say it. One of you will tell me. Most likely Dorothy, Sharon Marcus. That she's always, was Dorothy a teacher in real life? Hey Google, was the character Dorothy from the Golden Girls a teacher? I think she might be able to tell me. So, and this is potato chips that are ghost pepper. Dorothy Bornick is a character from the sitcom television series, The Golden Girl, yeah. portrayed by B. Arthur. Sarcastic, introspective, compassionate, and fiercely protective of she considers family. It's not telling me. Okay, anyway, I think she was a teacher. Somebody will tell me. Okay, this is another Crafter Square new one. I love this. Wood frame with tin board. So I'm gonna give you guys a really good idea. To get four of these would make a fantastic bulletin board. Let's just say you had four children or four people in your house. You could also go this way with them, right? Because you could title each one of them with their name and then that would be a spot where you would put names. So it'd make a great communication center, I guess that's what you used to call it. But you could also do it, just don't have to do names. So put four of them together and your communication center could be um, uh, just, uh, you know, dinner at, and you can just put all kinds of things on there where you're supposed to be, so on and so forth. You could also do seven of them for every day of the week in a nice hallway or something or in your mudroom and everything that's going on for those days. So I really like this. Um, I think this is very cool. It is though. I'm pretty sure this is plastic. No, maybe it is wood. Oh heck, let's find out. <laughs> it's yeah, it's plastic. These are plastic. But that's okay, it looks like wood. Um, I just think they're really cool. They're gonna be super fun to craft with as well. But a great idea for making a communication center in your home, if anybody's looking for that idea. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then these are out. I only bought one box because they're fattening and we don't need them. But I had to show you guys, and these are, I wish my children lived nearby. I would be sending them groceries all the time. So this is Frosted Flakes with Crispy Cinnamon Basketballs. Now this is, a 10.2 ounce Shax Kellogg Frosted Flakes. This is like, this is a great buy. I mean, seriously. And you can scan the QR code to hang out with Tony and him. Um, I don't know why they're there. They are good until May 16th of 22. So we have to eat them this week. I should try them in foodie. I should try them in bikini and flip flops today, tomorrow, whenever I'm doing it. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, randomly. 
I found this again. This happens to be my favorite milk when I see it there at the Dollar Tree because it's like, yeah, I know. Yes, it's dairy pure Effingham, right? I know. So yes, it is my favorite. Uh, I think it just tastes the best out of all of the, the cartoned milk that they have at the Dollar Tree. And it's, it's, I mean, it's really not a bad buy. But what I like about it is I put it on the shelf. If I ever run out of milk, I've got a backup and then open that up and put that in the fridge. But also when we go camping, because now I'm not having to take a, um, you know, a thing and keep it cold and take it like this. And I don't have to get it cold until after we open it. And then there's another cereal that's there. Go figure. Oh, so it is this, which is sugar cookie toast crunch why is it there i don't know but it's like i found the christmas captain crunch there which is so good so this is family size which is even better than the frosted flakes right because this is 10 ounce and this is 18 so it's almost double the size so this is a better buy and again i'm assuming it's because it's holiday that it's there and this is good until september so this is good even longer than this is this is a phenomenal buy moms and dads grandmas and grandpas Rush out and buy it for your children because it's not healthy. The back is so ugly, though. This is just the weirdest looking. It looks like SpongeBob. Is, am I the only one that thinks that? Maybe. So it's these characters, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch characters up there. All right. Okay. So fantastic buy the family size for $1.25, right? Ah, I can't. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> um, Just because I needed it. Who doesn't need more nautical rope? Right? Mm -hmm. I know. I did. No. Okay, I could if you want me to. You want a rope necklace. Evingham, I'm sure you know what that means. Okay, so do any of you can out there? Because I just saw these for the first time, and I'm not sure that they've been there before. Did I just miss them? I don't think so, though. Because I'm a canner. I would have seen them. But these are expensive online. Like, go buy these. And this is the part that you always have to replace, right? Because when you pop them open, that this part, anyway, this the, the rubber on these gets ruined after you use them. So you always have to replace those. So there are 10 in here, which makes them 12 cents each, which is pretty inexpensive. But I only bought one. And the reason I only bought one is why? Because I'm going to try them first. I want to make sure that they fit properly. If they do, I'll be buying more. Um, for all my jars out there and that's the part that you have to throw away. Okay, then I found this. Okay, Sharon Marcus, my little Dorothy Golden Girl, can you please look this up and put it in the comments so everybody will know because I know that this is not a dollar twenty-five, and this is Derma Secret Fragrance Free 48 Hour Invisible Gel. So it's a gel and a perspirant. Wow. So I bought it. I don't wear, by the way, deodorant. I like rarely wear deodorant. The only time I wear deodorant is when I'm dieting and I go into keto mode and then you're like, what's that smell? <laughs> Which currently is happening. So it was good timing to find this. Not that I'm gonna lose any weight. I just, my body will go into keto mode and then we're like, yeah, no, we don't really wanna lose any weight. And then it goes right back out of it. I don't understand it. It doesn't matter. So, um, but <clears throat> this is a gel. So what I love about this, if you're getting dressed in a dress or something like that and you want, it's sealed up. But, um, so it's clear, right? I think it's clear. Yeah, it has to be clear. Fragrance-free, no added perfumes. Okay, anyway, I know this is more than $1.25. So curious what that is on the real market. Then, I just realized, I think I do know which craft I'm gonna do for you guys because, and it's so simple. I bought this. They have, um, that's the garden sticks, right? And this is the Shore Living Garden Steak. So that Shore Living has its own, even though the garden label has their own garden steaks too but they had fish and they had this and i don't know what else they had i had hauled one last week that said ahoy but i hadn't seen this one so i found this one and then i was like at the same time i found this i was like look at that i can so three-dimensionalize this little picture here by putting the boat on top of it and adding some nautical rope around the side of it i think that will be my craft today yeah yes so I was like, oh, and now I, what I will do is I will enhance this a little bit with some paint to darken it. You guys will see. I think that's going to be my craft. I'll put it over here. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Okay. So um, let's see what's in this cute little bag. I keep finding receipts. Well, that's the second receipt. Um, I don't know. I, I might end up like with 
horrible stuff at the end of this video because I don't know what. Oh, I know what these are. So I only, let's get everything else out of here. I bought three of these. You guys are going to love these. So it's not the jar. What you're going to love is the embellishment on the jar. Look. What is that? I'd be so happy when it's... Okay, so I'm going to spend $1.25 for this little charm, basically. Now, that's not bad. I'm also going to get the jar. I love to put these outside. Mine just broke. I had a bunch of them outside with solar lights on them, and they broke because a wind gust came in, and, and, and which happens here every once in a while, not very often. So I was like, that's okay. I'll replace them, and I just get the little bee. Um, but also, they had it in a pink, like a cranberry glass color. It was like, why? I didn't understand that. So I just got the yellow because, of course, I will use one for some bee thingamabobber, right? Um, but I was like, oh, my gosh. So I, I grabbed three of those for crafting and then using the bottle outside for a solar light. Oh, enough said about that, huh? Now, these are brand new. Oh. See, sometimes the craft stuff they get, is it because they went to $1.25, you guys? I feel like it's just getting better. And maybe that's just me, but I'm pretty sure it's not just me. I should have used one of these things on my, I didn't. Okay, so these are brand new. And then I saw another one. I didn't pick it up. I'm mad at myself now. All right, here they are. I'm so dumb. Oh, this would make such a cool wind chime, right? To put like three of them together on something. Right? Oh, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, these are great. And what are they calling these? Just decor pieces. Like, you know we're all gonna be making little hanging things out of these, although I'm really upset with myself now. I should have gotten, I think I'll get a couple more of the round one. No, maybe I'll do this one. Oh yeah, cause this looks like a danger on a danger, a donger. A... Hmm. Anyway. So I think I will do that and make it wind chime. How cool would that be? But let's just talk about them. They're like, you know, a porcelain, whatever. The one side is shiny, the other side is matte. Makes them both very usable, by the way. Um, remember I said you can bring down that shine just by putting a layer of Mod Podge on it. Although this shine isn't too bad. Mostly because it's a muted color with this cream, right? Look at this tag. Yes, yes. But he's gonna be doing Christmas with these. This would have made the best strawberry, right? Yeah. Um, so I love these. They're brand new. It's a fabulous crafting, uh, piece. I mean, they're just, they just don't, they just don't stop amazing me sometimes. Okay. Ready? Cat toys. Hey, kitty, kitty. There's some paper on the floor for you. Um, so I'm in love with those. I think I, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy some and make a charm because I mean a charm, a wind chime. It'd be super cool. Um, okay. The cats are howling at me now. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, this. Is it the, the worst looking gnome ever in the entire century of gnomes? I mean, it's so cheesy. After you give us that amazing, those amazing gnomes at like Easter and, and whatnot, and then you send this home with us, like this is, like it's so bad. It's so bad. I don't even think I'm gonna recraft him. I think I'm just gonna put him in my gnome giveaway because every time I get gnomes, I throw more gnomes into my gnome giveaway because I just can't, I don't know. I just can't with that. There's a second one too. I think I bought the other one too. I can't. Yeah, this isn't even worth a dollar twenty-five. This is like, and it's like really stiff felt that it's made out of, so it's collapsing in on the side. There's a little bit of rocks in there or something. Just, it's just, oh, it's bad. It's awful. Let's not talk about it because it upsets me. Okay, so um, speaking of Fourth of July, I did pick up. Um, I only picked up a few things, and so the ribbons is one of them because I absolutely love the ribbons. And so I got one each of those. Look at these. How these are just beautiful. They're beautiful. There's your truck. They're beautiful. These are really beautiful ribbons. And I'm so glad that they went with like the burlap coloring on them instead of a staunch white. Because usually we use this stuff outside and then the white just gets disgusting. Whereas the burlap color holds up just a little bit better for us outside on a wreath or whatever. So, okay. So there's that. And then, um, hold one second. So I had to pause that because I had to go get something that I'd forgotten that I wanted to get off my front porch for my Totally Easy Tuesday. Anyway, long story. 
that's how my mind thinks when I'm doing this. Okay, so then I picked up some luggage tags, which randomly, normally it's not something that I would pick up, but um, this one, but first coffee. Now here's a great, like, look. Sorry, I gotta grab this. See this? It'd be so cute just to take this off and put it on there as an embellishment for one of your little message boards, right? And then get little magnets and put them on there, which they sell those packages of little six magnets all the time. Um, this one, I don't know why I got it. <laughs> I don't think I meant to, because I'm really not a pineapple girl. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's cute and it'll look cute on some summer thing, but but this one I got because why? Because I love VWs, I have a VW bug and I thought, oh, I might make some cute little embellishment for something. I don't know. It's also very summer short living line coloring. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know why I got those. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. There's six of them, you guys. I missed it. Yeah, there's six of those ribbons. They're so pretty. These are not a fabulous buy, though, right? I mean, it's three yards. It's nine feet. That's not fabulous for $1.25, but it's okay. I love them. Um, found the monster triple shots again. I love these and it's now it's going into iced coffee mornings instead of hot coffee when we leave for work. And so we use these and we split it half and half. Um, so like in, in our coffee mugs to go, uh, and it's a salted caramel. They're so good. So since iced coffee weather is coming up, that was a good time to get that. Okay. Then, um, I was out of snakes because I used them on what would you make? So I replenished my stock with those. Hold one second. And this is, um, oh, so this is balancing face wash, face, balancing face wash, which is the, it's by Skin Beauty International. I don't know if this is normally $1.25 or not, but it's tea tree oil, which Marcus loves to use that on his face. And so I thought I would buy this and put it in the shower for him so he could wash his face with it in the shower. And I'd never seen it there before. Skin Nutrition Botanicals, tea tree oil and salicylic, salicylic acid balancing face wash. So I grabbed that for him to try, for him to try. Where are we going next? Okay, I don't have to get this bag. I'm not unloading this bag. I found more of the accelerators. These are so good. Cherry Limeade, also good with Captain. And then, haven't tried these yet, and I got a few for Marcus, the Monsters. These have 10 calories in them. I love the color of the can. I feel like I could make something really cool for Halloween. <laughs> um, so, but they're Monsters, which that's a good buy when you can find a Monster there for $1.25. Because at the grocery store, when they're, although these are a little smaller, these are slightly smaller. These are only 12 fluid ounces. It doesn't matter. For me, a lot of times, it's just the ease of it, right? What's in our next bag? Oh my gosh. Okay. We're, all, we're not even almost done. I might have to do a second haul. It's possible. Okay. Um, what? Yeah. Be happy. How cute is this? These are um, light up ones, right? I'm not going to light it up because I'm not taking it out of there. So I feel like I'm not even sure that I would leave it as a light up. I feel like I might just pop this apart and use one of the side signs to put into a sign. Like this size thing, I could put, just take one of the panels and put it on something like this and decorate it up, would be super cute. I only bought one, maybe I should have bought two. I don't know, who knows? Okay, what else is in here? Wrapped in paper. So that means we got more fragile stuff. Oh yeah. So obviously they're doing this porcelain stuff is new now. They're coming out with this. And um, <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about it is now we have to make sure it doesn't break. So check this out. It's a stand with a little, um, you can put so many things on here. There's a plate one and a platter, I would call that. And then a, like a, like this would be like, you know, you're gonna put on your buffet table to say what, well, you can do that with all these to say what the food item is. So these are super cute. They're so good for tear trays. I can just see you all making them as tear trays. And um, yeah, so I like those. It's just little porcelain stand-up things. So there was the sign one, the plate, and then like the platter. Yeah, brand new. I like those. They're very different. Very different. 
and just another new crafting item that they have there. I just have a pile of crafting stuff over here. The cats are playing with the paper. I knew they would. All right, so Leaping Le Leopard is, uh, I always want to say Leaping Leopard. Leaping Leopard is a new line that they are carrying there all the time, so check these out. Now, this is a good buy for $1.25, um, and so I obviously I grabbed one of each. So mad. I just did tear tray, fruity tear tray. These would have been so perfect on the fruity tear tray, right? Yeah. Oh, well. There's that. Okay, right now, let's do something. Let's get let's get going on our giveaway. I'm going to give away another three sets next weekend of the Shore line, Shore Living line of the these things. So next weekend, another set. And all you have to do right now is... What do we need to do? We're gonna, oh, I want you to tell me one, only one word. Nope, let's do a sentence because otherwise people are gonna figure it out. Um, the, my, your, my, <laughs> I don't know what I should do. I should have thought about this, huh? Okay, what's your favorite area of the Dollar Tree? All right, is it the food section? Is it the health and beauty section? Is it, the crafting section, is it the garden section? Is it the shoreline living? Did I give you enough? That's five. So is it the food section, the health and beauty, the crafting, the gardening, or the shoreline? So one of those five. Tell me which one of those five is your favorite. Actually, just tell me whichever section. Maybe I just didn't mention them all because of course there's the party section as well, right? Yeah, so, um, so tell me which section of the Dollar Tree is your favorite to be entered into the drawing next weekend where I will be giving away another set of the coveted, and I mean coveted, shoreline garlands. Okay, so that's it. Write that down right now. All right, so I just showed you these guys. Let's keep going. I gotta get moving. Oh, I found a new contact paper. I love this pattern. Absolutely love this pattern. I believe one of my, was it Michelle? Did you do it on Instagram? Did a bunny similar to the one that I did? <clears throat> and I think she used this contact paper. So. It's very boho because we've sort of got a tannish brown in there. Um, and so I love it when they bring out new contact paper. I love to work with contact paper. It's so easy to stick. There's no Mod Pods. There's no nothing. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so on the Shoreline Living, I was buying all that stuff, and I went through their books, and so what did I find? I was like, yep, I'm going to get some books. I'm going to do a book um, thing here very shortly, actually. I was super... Uh, I was thinking about it the other night. That's what happens. And I was like, yep, it's time to do one of my book, a, a total book uh, crafts, a whole video on book crafts. Okay. Well, I found some more children's books. This one was $19.99. Vernon is on his way. Small stories. Look at, check this out. $19.99 and I got it for $1.25. Come on now. So I'll be sending that off to my daughter. Then there's this one. This one's so cute. And she just had a little boy. So you decide how the story unfolds, and this is a, so it's Jack Frost versus the abominable, abominable blah, 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 snowman. So you can decide which way the story goes. Super cute. This retailed for, um, for, I don't know how much it retailed, $17.99, and just so cute for $1.25. I love finding children's books there. Okay, then <clears throat> I found this um, cute little, dual thing they were both one says don't give a fig and i am great grateful so <laughs> these are funny so the back of this says shiitake happens and sometimes it's easy to fig forget that everything's going to be okay sometimes we just need to be reminded of that by a little book full of big love for you so this was i don't know how much this was because the sticker's over let's look it was not listed on the back <laughs> $8.99. So this is so cute. Um, peas fig off. <laughs> peas fig off. This would be a great... Okay, Effingham, stop. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, good. I'm glad you're laughing. It says, go, man, go. Okay, this would be a great book to give to like a teenager who you're trying to... You know, I think it would be. Anyway, maybe not. Um, so, I they're so funny. Peas, peas leave me alone. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Give me one good reason why I should forgive you. 
Okay, so words of wisdom for when life gives you lemons. Okay, that's the, what it says. Well, then the other one is, a, is a, I am grateful all the good times. <laughs> all the good times I want to thank you for. Right there. Okay, so obviously this one was the same price, that $8.99. And it says, have you hit guac bottom or feel like nothing is ripe? Don't bury your feelings. Let your fellow human beings know that everything will be okay -o. With this little book of upbeat and ador adorkable fruit and vegetable puns. Fruit and vegetable puns. That's what it is. So these are so cute. And I was like, such a cute little gift. You make me so happy. <laughs> Which makes me go to Star Wars. Me so, me so happy. Me so, what was that character's name? Yeah. Uh, big floppy ears. Looked like a big walking Muppet. And he was in, okay, well, not going to get it right now. That sticker did not want to come off. Okay, anyway. So those are so cute. $8.99, $1.25. Come on, you can't beat it. Then I found this one, and this is, um, it says Rejoice. Beautiful book, by the way. This is by Source Books, and it was, I hate it when I don't peel off stickers, but I didn't go through this haul. I just pulling it out of the bag for you guys. And it was $14.99, this book was. Sticker, off my fingers. Okay, so this is Rejoice and Be Merry. Celebrate the most wonderful season of all. So this is definitely Christmas, right? And it says, embrace the joy of Christmas. Within these pages, you'll find warm and heartful quotes. So just beautiful, like, with your family in the beautiful land of life and Christmas bells. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. There's just all kinds of fun things in here. But what I was thinking about it is, wouldn't this be fun? Actually, this is what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to have a Christmas party this year. I haven't had one in a couple years because we moved. And I love to have Christmas parties. And this is going to be my guest book. So I'll put it out there with different pens. And people can go in here and just sign different quips in here. But I'm going to ask them to write the date. Because then every year I'll pull this book out. And they can write in it again. And it'll just become this memory of our Christmas parties in, a, in this little guest book form. Yeah? You guys like that? I do. I think that's really cool. So that's what I'm going to do with that. It's going to become my guest book for all my Christmas parties. And then on the years to come, I'll be able to look back at that and be like, oh, yeah, I remember when so-and-so was there, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is my favorite book I found. So I, it's this Cookies Monsters Guide to Life, The Joy of Cookies. But look, it's got a cookie bite out of it. And the entire book is like that. It's so stinking cute. So this had a 30% off from Target. So it was at some point... It was a Target item, so why it's here, I don't know. Let's see what it cost originally. And then originally it was $15.99, so 30% off that. Would have taken it somewhere to the around the $10 mark. Obviously, it didn't sell, so they, they I guess they just ship, 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 ship stuff off. I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is. So I need to get the sticker off the front of it. Let's get that off. I left it on there so I show you guys that it was Target. But... It's super, super cute book. Oh, come on. We don't want Cookie Monster's face covered up. Thank goodness this sticker came off, right? Oh, it would have been awful if it didn't. So what a ruin. Okay, but this is, in the joy of cookies, Cookie Monster offers deep thoughts on life, friendship, baking, and the love of cookies. It's so cute. Before me eat first cookie of day, me monster. After me still monster, but me happy monster. The happy face there. This is just the cutest book. Sometimes me dream... Me as a carrot monster, then me wake up. <laughs> me secret ingredient for cookie is love and a tiny bit of sea salt on top. Okay, so is there, is part one, why cookies? There's parts in this. Um, keep calm and eat cookies. It's just so cute, you guys. It's the cutest cookie monster book ever. I thought there was a cookie recipe in here, but maybe I am mistaken. I did think there was. Um, yeah, no, no cookie, but just, just cookie monster quips in here, but still so stinking cute. Yes, there is. I knew I thought I saw a recipe. So there are some cookie recipes in here or at least one. I found one anyway, cute book to give to somebody with a stuffed cookie monster or something. I don't, I don't know. It just so cute. I love that book. I'll probably keep it. Okay, and then the last two books, it doesn't even matter how much they were originally. I'm going to tell you why I bought them. So this one is called 15th Summer. Okay, yeah, that looks cheesy. And this one is Sophia of Silicon Valley. Don't care. They, I don't even care how much they were. But this one was 30, 
Twenty-six dollars. Sure. Not. And this, the other one was seventeen ninety-nine. Doesn't matter. Do you want to know why I bought them? Why did I buy them? Yeah, because I'm gonna do a ocean theme with these books. The colors are so perfect. I was like, yeah, I got to do something. I've got to do a cute little, you know, nautical something. So that's what I'm going to do with these. And I bought them just for the colors of their, the books. Just thought they were absolutely perfect. Okay. Where to next? Bum, ba, na, na. We're getting closer. This is going to be a long video. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. They have new bags. I just had to. It's a strawberry. Don't know why. I mean, I don't know why. And now I, I need to, I'll probably, I would probably use it as a gift wrapping bag. Yeah. Be super cute. So, or, well, I could use it in my DT threads and make a strawberry shirt. Oh, oh, I could make Effingham a strawberry hat. Right? See? Oh my gosh. But by the way, if any of you have a toddler, this would be the sweetest little strawberry costume. All you would have to do is take this cut some arms out here, cut the head out here, take a black Sharpie and finish the strawberries all around it. Take the handles off and make a cute little headband out of it. There you go. Is that not the best idea? I should do a costumes, DT costumes. Okay, so there's a really good idea for that one. Make it a costume. Um, I bought this just because I'm gonna make a, a bird's nest, a bird's, a bird's nest out of it. And I wanna use the chicken wire to do chicken wire around it and then have a little bird's nest in it. That's what's going on with that. These are, oh, here's the disgusting other gnome. Here we go. No. One's heavier than the other two. These are brand new for Mother's Day, and um, I only got these two. I absolutely love them. But of course, I'm gonna put them together in a bigger pot. I don't grow real flowers. You can give them to me, but I don't grow them. And um, so they had another one, but these two I thought looked the best. Like they were the best faux little plant flower thing. So just beautiful big blooms like that are so cool. So I just grabbed the two and of course you get the bo the bonus of that little pot that you can use for something. I'm hurrying you guys, I might have to stop. I might have to stop. Okay, these are brand new. These are brand new and I'm putting them on a sign, kind of like that with little faux plants coming out of them, probably little cactus coming out of them. How cute is that? Of course this one go this way, right? So I'm gonna put them on sort of wonky and then um, little faux plants coming out of them on one of those, probably one of those elongated signs that they have. Can't think of, you know what I'm talking about, the ones right now that they sell with all the cutouts, but you don't have to, you can cover up the cutout. Um, oh, hey, some bread and butter chips from Pampa. I like bread and butter chips. They're not super high in calories, so it's something that I can eat. Brand new sand. So this is like super colorful sand. I just got it to add to my sand collection. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Mm -hmm. It's just normal. But I just thought it was really pretty. I would love one day to try and do one of those sand art things where they pour the sand in and then they take a straw and they, ch -ch -ch, you know, and it's, that's so amazing. I don't know how they do it, but it's super amazing. Okay, um, this is drinks, that. But I also found this monster energy drink. It only has 90 calories in it, and it's just a bigger monster. Now this one is a better buy at 16.9. That's a good buy on a monster drink for $1.25. Because they're, when they're on sale four, they're like on sale at the grocery store. It's like $6.99 for four of them. On a rare occasion, it'll be five, the, the four pack for $5. But that's very rare. Okay. Let's see, what else do I have in my little, oh my gosh. Check this out. Is that cute? It's water bottle stickers. It's the only one I found, so I'm sure they're gonna be out with more of them. But I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. But you don't have to use it on a water bottle, right? Because this is just, the, the stickers are individual. I don't think it's one long sticker, is it? Let's find out. No, they're individual. So the little, the little pieces are, well, that's kind of dumb, actually. They should have made each dog its own. Hold on, I'm trying to get it out of there. Yeah, so all the little pieces are individual. I think that's kind of stupid, but okay. So, um, but how cute is that? Little water bottle stickers? 
I was like, yes, please. Um, and I'm sure they'll come out with other designs. This is Jot, by the way, which I thought that was a little different, not craft or square. This is a selfie ring light, which I'm gonna send, um, I'm not sure. I was thinking about sending it to Scarlett. <laughs> and then I was thinking about using it when I'm taking my pictures of my products because I think it, I can just get an, an immediate shine on them. So I'm gonna try that first. Uh, one other thing I got for 4th of July because I did think this one was cute. Now those gnomes are better than these gnomes. Yeah. So I did buy the one 4th of July sign. I don't think I got any other 4th of July signs. This one I didn't think I'd seen before and I loved the key on it. So I grabbed that package of stickers. I didn't think I'd seen owls before. So I grabbed the owls or if I had it and pick them up, I don't know. I'm not big on owls, but I had to have them. Um, oh, and then this one. So I did get two of these ring lights because I thought I would try them on my phone for doing my photos of my crafts. And then I thought, well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I can send one off to Scarlet after I'm done with that. Okay, one more book. I missed a book. This was another book for the, for the seashore. See this? For shoreline, just to do a, forget the words. You don't have to worry about that. Just looking at the colors of the books, right? See that? So I think that's going to be really cool when I do that craft. Okay, more drink. We're almost done. Um, okay. Then I found the Dove Clean and Comfort Moisture Technology 24-Hour Protection. So there's the Dove one. I found the secret earlier, right? I don't know where it went to. It's a secret. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, and then these signs, which are very 4th of July. So check it out, though. This is double-sided, the faux wood with a star in the middle of it. That's what I was talking about. Like, watch. Oh, no. Woohoo! Here we go. This one is um, double sided with that beat up wood look to it. I love it. I got three of those because I thought I would put three together. And then just the black one. But check this out because this is what I was talking about with these planters, right? So <coughs> one, two. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to hold it, but you guys will get the idea. Three. So I didn't get them all the same color, right? And then just put little cactus coming out of them. Be super cute sign. Um, and I could do it on the wood one too, but I think it looks really good on this one. But anyway, we'll see. And then, um, oh, Mother's Day is this weekend. So, but that's okay. I grabbed it anyway. So the mom, um, they had a couple other ones. So what I love is these are half beads. Look, see that? I wanted to buy more of them just to take the trim off, but that would be ridiculous. And then this one, which is interesting because it's a puzzle. This heart fits inside of this heart. So I would redo it and take away probably the verbiage and all that and probably throw it in Valentine's because I think it'd be really cute. And um, and the mom one I just picked up to show you guys some mom stuff. So this is, um, grabbed it for, actually, I was thinking for like seashore sh stuff because it looks like fish netting. And I grabbed the green. I don't know why I grabbed the green, but I did. Brand new sign, and I think this one's really cute. Too much Monday, not enough coffee. But I just thought this would be really cute in a gift basket if you want to do a coffee gift basket. Super cute in it. And then these, which they had other colors. I only got the one because I'm going to do this nautical because that screams nautical. They had a brown one and a peachy colored one, I think. Brown and I'm not sure. Doesn't matter, there were three colors. I only grabbed the one. At first I started to pick them all up and I go, no, I'm just gonna do one for short living, um, just to show you an idea with that. Anyway, I just thought it was really pretty. These are nice pieces. I mean, these are these are very nice pieces. Okay, what else do we have left? Um, okay, hold on, I'm grabbing the rest of it, just to show you guys. All right. I did snag some Hunt's diced tomatoes because we've been using these a lot in our um, cooking and also balsamic vinegar, vinegar by Leaping Leopard, which we use that for our dressings. And one iron-on patch for like, um, is it iron-on? Gemstones design, I guess it's just press-on. But I was thinking for DT threads, of course, 
And these are so cool. So I am taking these. We're going in July. We're going to the Black Hills with uh, two the, with my daughter and her husband and the two grandkids. And we're renting a cabin out in the woods. So I thought I would bring these to make the um, paracord bracelets with, you know? They make those bracelets um, for the wrist. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna bring these and we can make paracord bracelets. I just thought that would be fun because look at these wonderful colors for that. So I snagged all four, gonna take them with me and we'll do some paracord bracelet making because we're not gonna have any Wi-Fi. What? Yeah. Oh. I might need to drink something stronger. Oh, but that's okay, we'll do crafts. So I can't take a whole bunch because we're flying out there. But I thought these are small. I can, and I'm thinking I can take them off the hangers even just to, oh my gosh, can I just show you guys something? Take them off the hanger. Doesn't this look like a robot? Look at the, like, I feel like you make a craft out of those. Okay, random. One mug, the best mom in the history of the world, just to show you guys some of the Mother's Day stuff. I'm gonna, I bought it for myself, cause I'm not, but maybe if I read it, I'll, I'll believe the lie. <laughs> I should give it to somebody. Oh, not me. Okay. These are brand new. I love these. And then yesterday when I went to another Dollar Tree, I actually found another one, which is not in this haul. So these are chalkboard. How fun. Should have bought two of them so I could have double-sided it. I do that all the time, don't I, you guys? Anyway, I like them. I think they're really cute. There's lots of things we can do with them. But again, they need to go on a sign. Oh my gosh. So silly. See, this is what happens. Like, how cute would it be to have like, three of these on this sign. One, two, three on this sign. And then you could do, I don't know, you could write little sayings with a chalkboard or um, maybe write names. You could put kids' names on here, the stars of my life. These are my favorite stars, something like that. Okay, super cute idea for a grandparent. Do it with grandchildren. All right, and my favorite thing out of this whole haul, I don't think there's anything else, but this is my favorite and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I think I need to build a faux wall just to do some of these things on and then I can show you guys how to do it and then just take them down. These are so incredibly beautiful. They are wall creations, but check this out. So it's two-sided, right? So you get two of the big blooms and then the leaves and a little one. I mean, oh my gosh. And check, I mean like, oh my gosh. This one's just two huge ones with the leaves on it. And then this one is the white. I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, they're so beautiful. It makes me want just to buy another house just to decorate, but I can't. But I do think I am at some point gonna build a faux wall that I can just do stuff on and show you guys how to use this stuff. When I retire again, that's when I'll do it. I can't do it right now. Um, all right, so that was my haul. What was your favorite thing? You have to tell me that. What was your favorite thing? So I don't know what you were drinking today. I hope it was good. I'm gonna uh, shut off here, pull the winner up, and tell you who won the three strands of the nautical beads. Let's do that. Okay, so this is interesting. So I'm gonna do my random picker, but it might pick somebody that didn't put enter in at first. So the way I decided that I would do this is just hit it until I get a comment that says enter. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Yeah, okay, so uh, I can't filter du duplicate users because you might have done two. Okay, anyway, yeah, I can, okay. It's not, that's the user, not, okay, go, start. Maybe the first one will say enter, wouldn't that be nice? It would be like so, <gasps> it does! The very first, oh shoot. The very first one said enter, and it's Sandy Thornton. Sandy, you won the three, the set of the three nautical beads, So, which I already put away. I already put in the office to mail off. Okay, anyway, so you win those three. Congratulations. So um, I think I have your address, but that's okay. Message me anyway. And for those of you that are watching this right now, you have to watch the whole video because I'm actually giving another set away for next week, but you have to watch the video and find out what you have to do to get into that one. All right. So um, everybody right now, everybody, why do I keep saying everybody? I don't know, like why? Uh, oh, because they're all in our kitchen with us. Yes, they are, everybody's here. All right, um, right now I'm gonna do a craft for you. And so it's gonna be super simple one. 
So I'm gonna say my goodbyes and then I'm gonna put the craft on. So you can stay and watch the craft or you don't have to, but I'm gonna upscale this with a boat and the seashore, sea, sea, seashell, seashells by the seashore, whatever, this painting. Um, I think it's gonna look really pretty. So, and I think I'm gonna use some nautical twine and I'm gonna use some um, probably markers to enhance the sailboat a little bit. You know how I love to use markers. Maybe I'll pull up my, I don't know. Yeah, okay, who cares? Let's get going. So you guys, for all of you that watch the haul, thank you so much for watching the haul. Holla for your dollar haul, holla. And right now, Marcus is outside cleaning up the backyard because we're having a party here tomorrow, hence the hairdo, because I gotta go to work now too. But I think we're gonna film our bikinis and flip-flops today outside. Uh, the cat behind me is playing with a pearl because they broke a craft that I made for Thursday, by the way, bad kitties, which I'll show you on Thursday's, next Thursday's video. All right, um, wow, ramble at the end. I always do. Effingham, say goodbye to our besties. Yes, we love you so much. Stick around and watch the craft if you would like to. Um, and, uh, and this is using stuff that I hauled today. I hauled this and I hauled this. So I'm going to make a craft out of something that I hauled today. All right. Have a great day. Great week. Great life. Everybody see you back here tomorrow for the beanies and flip flops, beanies and flip flops, bikinis and flip flops. Wow. That's going to get confusing, and, but it's summertime here in Arizona. And as always from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Stick around for a craft.